Hey everyone, welcome to Goody Reader News. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to give you our top five e-ink based readers of 2013. It was a big year. I mean, I can't think of another year where e-readers have been so refined in terms of form, function, and price point. Right, right. I mean, it's it's been a great year, especially with glow light technology too. Everyone and their mom is making glow light readers. So the first e-reader is pretty well our favorite, which is the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 2. Uh, this e-reader is Amazon's second generation e-reader with front-lit technology. And what I really like about it is that it really looks white. It does look white. It's the whitest, it's the best contrast on any of the e-ink e reader screens we've seen. It's the best white on black. So what I like about the, the Kindle Paperwhite 2 is the deep and expansive Amazon ecosystem. Whether you're getting into fan fiction with Kindle Worlds or whether you're into discovering the next great writer from self-published writers, there's hundreds of thousands of titles from indie authors, but you also find mainstream best-selling titles. It it doesn't really matter where you are, you can do business with Amazon. They also offer some of the best prices. Uh, Christmas of 2013, you can get a lot of best-selling titles for about $1.99. Yeah, that's pretty good. It refined from the first generation in every single way possible. I'm not going to mention the same things I like because I do like all the things Michael mentioned, but two of the drawbacks I found is that one, the space is very limited. You have about one gig of onboard storage, uh, not counting the cloud storage, and you can't ever turn the glow light off. You can only turn it on low so that overall, although not immediately, it does affect the battery life. Okay, so our my second favorite e-reader of the year is the Kobo Aura. And this is, like you said, a, a Kobo's third generation right. e-reader with front light technology. But the things that I like about it is that it's much akin to a tablet yes. in the respect that the screen is flush with the bezel. The things that are unique about this e-reader is that it's very high resolution. So comics, graphic novels, magazines are all going to look stupendous. Yeah. And I think that it has the best pinch and zoom in the business in terms of mm. overall responsiveness. Yes, yes it does. So you, you know, you are remiss if you actually don't check this out. Kobo has about 3.8 million books and so they have the, one of the largest and deepest ecosystems in the world and they have a larger footprint than Amazon. When it comes down to this e-reader, the price point is very effective. It's uh, just over a hundred dollars mm -hmm. and it has the latest generation technology. The Kobo Aura is probably Kobo's most polished e-reader that they've ever really released. Absolutely. Now if the six inch isn't really your thing, they actually do offer the Kobo Aura HD, which is a 6.8 inch high definition e-reader of the same brand. Mm -hmm. That one's actually really cool because it's one of the only e-readers that is larger than six inches that doesn't cost $500. I find that if you're really into manga and mm, things yes, like comic that. comic books, PDFs. Yeah, uh, PDFs especially. It's sometimes really hard as we've reviewed a lot of tablets this year for PDFs to look good on a six inch device. Unless you have like an iPad or a large tablet, it's right. really hard for PDFs to look good. And with e-readers, it's it's almost impossible. Right. You need a larger device. Uh, Kobo has really refined their PDF rendering engine when it comes to their readers. And it really shines on the Kobo Aura HD. Uh, speaking of PDFs, you're not gonna get no P better PDF experience in a world unless you get the Icarus Excel. Ah yes, the Icarus Excel. Uh, this is a very large screen e-reader. It is a 9.7 inch e-reader. Uh, it is not front lit, but it is a very large touch screen. So it has a full touch panel, stylus support. Uh, you can use kind of resistive or capacitive touch interactions and it handles PDFs like there's like it's no one's business. They, they offer the support where you can draw on the PDF that you're using and export that saved page with your notes and import it to 
I don't know, a USB drive, send it to your professor or whatever because you can make notes right on that. It's pretty well the best 9.7 inch e-reader that has ever been made, I think. I, and I think we, as well, We've yeah. played with a lot of them, yep. including the Kindle DX, which really never got support from Amazon. No, no. But uh, Acuris, a Netherlands-based company, yep, right? Good company. And uh, yeah, I mean, their customer service is amazing. And if you want to get it outside of Europe, say in North America, you can get it from shopyreaders.com. Yeah, it's not locate. Uh, it's not available on um, like the shelves of Best Buy or anything like no. that. So Shoppy Readers, our sister site, has North American exclusivity over it, so they'll be able to ship anywhere for you. Okay. Another e-reader that we really liked, and a lot of people may um, not agree with us. They in really this disagree respect. with this. When we ever put this on our list, they always say why, and we have really good reasons. I'm a huge fan of Sony's e-reader line. Uh, they may have lost some of the shine from uh, the e-readers of yesteryear, but the PRS T3 is the perfect e-reader for one if you like borrowing ebooks from a library. They actually have a built-in OverDrive app that will allow you to both. Uh, borrow and read books from your local library. Now, a lot of people say, oh, but it doesn't have a glow light. That's what everyone seems to head towards. Yeah. They're always like, oh, it doesn't matter what you say, it doesn't have a glow light. Remember that e-readers didn't even have glow lights till the fourth or fifth generation for some brands. So if you really don't let that really sway your decision on this reader because everything else it does is just spectacular. It has the best stylus support on any of the main brands yeah. we've seen. Um, they have apps on it like writing apps coloring apps games yeah. a lot of no other e-readers really come with that their pdf support is very good it is it is it's easy to manage it's easy to pinch and zoom it's got a little mini map to show you where you are and uh one of my favorite things is that they have the t3 and the t3s which has accessory snaps on the back so you can put different colored backings sleep covers lighted covers no covers i mean it's pretty versatile as a, its physical build and it has page buttons physical page turn buttons there's a lot to it that you shouldn't just put aside because it doesn't have a glow light okay an honorable mention is also done by Sony. And this e-reader actually will not be out until 2014, but in terms of a large screen e-reader, the Sony 13.3 oh, yeah. inch e-reader. You always do this honorable mention and I don't know what you're coming up with because he does this like last minute. Yeah, the the uh, the Sony, the one we saw at Sid Display. With oh man, it's, this awesome. is like the perfect yeah. e-reader. It's 13.3 inches. The specs are off like the chart. That. You look at a PDF and you don't have to scroll. No. The entire PDF is visible on the screen as you see on your this, screen This right is now. how you zoom. You just move your head closer because yeah. it's, it's the full experience. It's like looking at a gigantic piece of paper. It's available in Japan right now. And we've done a number of hands-on reviews of this. But in terms of a large screen e-reader, I don't think anything beats the Sony 13.3 inch. No, either. we're still waiting to, I think it's only really geared towards businessmen too, because yeah. it seems to be about nine to $1,100, depending on where you get it from after shipping. So um, it's not really to the consumer level where someone walks into a store and says, hey, I want an e-reader and they buy this for $1,200 after yeah. tax, right? They, uh, it, it is geared towards the, the, the businessman and we are actually currently waiting on getting ours. You've heard our top five e-ink based readers 2013 if we've missed anything or if you think that was something i should have made the list like the barnes noble nook low light mm. which we've deliberately <laughs> left off the list because the build quality is crap uh, it, you're not getting a really great experience way to put it lightly <laughs> yeah the 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 gui is terrible uh it looks like a kid's device and i'm sorry but they have that stupid rubber thing around it and i just don't it know it serves what, no purpose it serves no purpose we even did our drop test where you can which you can check out as well it doesn't even protect it no it just, just peels off and breaks yeah um so that's why we didn't include it people exactly so uh you've heard our thoughts let's hear yours drop a comment on this youtube video let us know exactly what you think and for goodie reader wow. news my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care. Really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Lots more to come in the days to come and the months to come for 2014. Um, we hope to get a couple more videos out before the end of the year. Like this guy right here. Really wanted to get to that today. But we had a full plate with everything we had to do with the top fives. Um, the new launch of the App Store. We have a new build out, out there. So if you go to apps.goodyreader.com, you can see that. Or you can read all about the latest reviews, news, previews, interviews, and everything else at goodyreader.com. 
slash blog. And of course, you can buy all of the e-readers and tablets you see here at shopereaders.com. You see we have a mug and a mouse pad of theirs, kind of just product placement as we do our vids. And uh, keep on watching. If you have any comments, leave a comment below, send us a message, let us know what you think about anything we do or didn't do or missed, or if you have any requests or anything of the sort, let us know.